Hello everybody, welcome back to another Gregorious Maths video. In this video, Theorem of the Week is back, and I'm going to be proving the Yone Dilemma. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to be a little bit lazy here because there's all sorts of kind of philosophical implications of the Yone Dilemma and sort of corollaries and stuff like that, but um, for this video, for Theorem of the Week, I'm going to keep it very short and sweet and I'm just going to give a proof of the, I'm just going to state it and I'm just going to prove it, but um, uh, I will link a math, I think it might be Math Overflow, maybe Math Stack Exchange, one of those, one of those websites, um, a Math Overflow post where there's a bunch of nice explanations, for example, like, um, you know, like, it's basically a precise version of, you know, show me your friends and I'll tell you who you are, that type of thing, you know. Um, all sorts of nice interpretations down there, but for now I'm just going to be purely proving it, and um, yeah. So, what is the Yone Dilemma? Um, so, basically what it says is that there's a bijection between the set of natural transformations between and there's a contravariant and a covariant version but both have very similar proofs um, there's a isom uh, there's a bijection between the natural transformations um, of functors between hom a dash and f and some f of a, where um, again f is some is some functor, let's say from um, the opposite category, I believe, um, of categories and set. So this is some set, and it's in bijection with this set. Um, so right, so. Basically, there's the same amount of elements of this set as there are natural transformations between HOM, A, dash, and F. So, that seems pretty unlikely, but it turns out to be true. Um, you know, when you stop and think about it, you think about all the different possibilities there could be of natural transformations, you think, surely there must be more than just there are elements in F of A, but it turns out that's not the case. So... Um, you know, there you go. Um, so, right, let's just prove this. Now, we're just going to pick some natural transformation phi between hom A and F. So, phi is given by, is uniquely determined by an element of F of A, as I will show now. So, consider... Hom A A. Now this goes via Hom A F for some F. Let's say uh, from some for some F from A to X um, to Hom A X. Uh, now these maps will go down via our natural transformation. So via phi X, and this one will go via phi A down to f of a, and this will go to f of x via f f, and so this, because we, because this is a natural transformation, this commutes. So let's see what happens when we plug in the identity. Well, the identity, on the one hand, it's going to get mapped to f, right, just by the definition of hom a f. You, but if you pre-compose with the identity, you're just going to get back your original map. And then this is going to go down to phi x of f. However, this is the same as going down to um, to some u some element u of f of a, 
right? This is just phi A of the identity maps to some element U, which could be any element U of F of A. And then this gets mapped to F F of U. And this is equal to phi X of F. And so what we've shown basically, is that by the commutativity of this diagram, this element u, this element u, right here, uniquely determines phi x. Any, for any x, this could be y, this could be any object um, x, and it's uniquely determined by this u, because it's ff of u. Right, so, okay, so this is very suspicious, but we need to still make this into a precise bijection, and then we'll be done. So, what we're going to do is, well, one way, we're going to go from, we're going to send a natural transformation between home A um, dash and F. We're going to send it to f of a. How are we going to do this? With, well, we're going to send our natural transformation phi. is going to be sent to phi a of the identity on a. Now, all we have to do is construct an inverse. Um, and the inverse map, um, which we'll do it in green, which goes from f of a to the set of natural transformations. So it takes in an element and then it outputs a natural transformation. Now what's the inverse map? Um, well, it's going to take some element u and it's going to map it to... Um, it's going to map it Hold on. Yes, it's going to map it to the unique natural transformation phi of u. And this unique natural transformation phi of u, well, what is it? It's the one that is determined by the property that phi a, so this map here has the property, so phi of u has the property, that phi of u at a, so this is just a natural transformation of the identity at a is equal to u. And clearly this is an injection because if u is not equal to u prime, well then phi of u prime at a, at the identity of a, is going to give you u prime. And it's also a surjection because any it's also a... it's also a surjection because any natural transformation is determined in this way, and it's an injection because it's uniquely determined by this. And also, of course, just note that this is the inverse map. So if we now apply to this our original map, which will send this natural transformation to phi a at the identity of a, well, obviously, we're going to just get back u, right? So we've sent u to this natural transformation, and then we send this natural transformation back to u. Um, so whatever you, way you want to look at it, you can prove that this is a bijection, or you can prove that it's the inverse of this map. Um, but either way, um, everything works out, basically. Um, and yeah, I will link, I'll link um, a math stack exchange post which explains the philosophical sort of implications 
of the Yone Dilemma, but it's a very deep result when you look into it. I'm just being a bit lazy by not presenting the full facts about it, but hopefully this was a somewhat helpful, straight to the point video um, about the Yone Dilemma. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Hopefully this week I will be uploading some videos about, you know, so reviving some of the other series, continuing homological algebra, and of course, you know, Theorem of the Week, stay tuned next Sunday. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, and goodbye.